Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Shadow Who Laughs, and it's Money, 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 Monday, which stands for Money or Motivation Over Negative Influences. It's a show I do every single Monday, and today we're going to be combining our daily playthrough of Tales of Arise and Money Monday because Tales of Arise has been an excellent game. And if you want to watch my live recordings, you can come to twitch.tv slash shadow who laughs, or you can find me on Twitter at Emeralds Chaos, or my donation link will be in the description below. Or if you want to subscribe to my Twitch, it's September, so it's 20% off subscriptions and gift subscriptions for the rest of September. Shoutouts to Killa for the new graphics, if you guys can see them alternating under the SWL Presents. More to come from that, but anyway, I got some bad news today, so I, during this recording, I'm gonna be on my couch, just playing to have fun. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. All the links and stuff you'll need will be in the description below. So enjoy Moni Monday, combined with Tales of Arise, Part 8. Thanks everybody, and enjoy the show. We have to stop Sir Kelzalik. Don't you think it's about time you drop the Sir? <sighs> he always treated us Danans with such warmth and kindness. Did he have such bad intentions all along? I... I just can't bring myself to believe it. Forget about intentions. We should assume he's the one who's behind all these incidents. It's not surprising to me that there are Renans and Menensia who resent Dohalim. But I didn't expect one would be so close to him. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. I guess all of us here in Menencia are still some way off from being a truly united realm, aren't we? Are you going to be okay, Kisara? I don't know, but I definitely don't want things to end like this. Please, lend me your strength. Of course. Anyone who tries to oppress others is our enemy, and we'll gladly stand against them. Besides, I want to believe that this realm really can do better, too. The fact the enemy's holding themselves up tells me they're not exactly happy to see us. I thought we'd see fighting throughout the city. 
but it's dead quiet. Either Dohalim's allies have been arrested, or they're keeping a low profile. Thinking the rebels are occupying the palace? Then let's hurry up and kick those bastards out. Hmm. This place is awfully quiet for a siege palace. Such a huge place is spooky without all those people here. They're probably waiting to ambush us. With so few Renans here, I guess this is what it's like when the Danans are expelled and the ruling minority are all that's left. My money's on them using Zoogles to even the odds. I don't even see any Danan guardsmen. The fact that they're not at their stations tells me they really have been driven out. We all swore an oath of loyalty to Lord Dohalim. My fellow guards wouldn't abandon their post lightly. Speaking of which, where the heck is he? How could this be happening? Any idea where we should go in the main building? Let's try the Lord's Chamber. Worth a shot. You can bust that wall open, can't you? Kisara, do you have any idea just what Kelzalik might be planning at the palace? It's hard to say. I've never seen him use any powerful arts, and I don't think he's particularly skilled with any weapons either. However, I have noticed him accompanied by something strange from time to time. What kind of strange? I don't know. I couldn't see anything with him, but I could sense something was there. Probably some sort of Zoogle. An invisible Zoogle? We'd better be careful in any case. I'd rather we not find out after it jumps us and tries to rip our throats out. when crafting weapons.
One deadly strike, just as ordered. No choice. You Okay. We're all right, Alfin. I think this is a key to the noble room of the castle. A noble what? The room at the northern end of this floor. Maybe the release mechanism is in there. Scratches on my shield or my armor. Ignite! Eat this! Take 
There are enemy forces here, too? They must be predicting our movements and deploying accordingly. So they figured we were coming all along, is that it? This looks nice and tough. Done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. I won't forget. 
forgive you. I will show you any mercy. Am I on a roller? What? Well, look who's in a bright... Shiny mood. No scratches on my shield or my armor. Is that some kind of note the Rebels left? Hey, it mentions the release mechanism we're looking for, but... This isn't enough to go on. to me.
I wonder if we can use this. So what is Mahogsar exactly? One of the five realms of Dana. From the sound of it, Kelzalik had some dealings with them. Let's see if we can find it. like some solid equipment.
Even if Danons and Renans aren't on completely equal footing here, both sides still cared about each other. And now we have to fight some of those same Renans inside the palace. Don't forget, we're here fighting to keep what make... Is this realm so special alive? Don't lose hope, Kisara. We got them all. Did that finally get rid of the wall? To think they would hide it in Lord Dohalim's personal quarters. The nerve of these people. They won't get away with it for much longer. That's right. We have to hurry to the Lord's chamber. Let's go. Well, well, if it isn't the slaves and the traitor, I don't remember giving you permission to enter the palace. So it's true. You really are the one behind all this, Kelzalik. I don't remember giving you permission to speak, either. Know your place, slave. Now we see his true colors. Yeah. A despicable excuse for a human being. Though really, I guess that makes him pretty ordinary, huh? Kelzalik, you were Lord Dohalim's most trusted advisor. His closest ally. Why would you betray him? Don't be a fool. I didn't serve him because I wanted to. I expect a mere slave would know, but there are many powerful contenders for the position of Lord. A contest of strength determines the one who will be Lord and undisputed ruler of a realm. There is no choice in the selection. If my master had any ambitions of becoming the Sovereign, I would have gladly served him. But he had no intention of fighting for the crown. Indeed. Can you slaves even imagine how that looked to the rest of us? Enduring the whims of an ambitionless lord, all we could do was wait for the end as we suffered through our humiliation. You want suffering? Try being Danon for a day. So you plotted against Lord Dohalim in secret. And when my brother found out... 
And I would do it all again if it meant returning Menencia to its rightful state. A realm where Danans are slaves and Renans their masters. It's the natural order. It's... Enough! Who are you to decide what is natural or rightful, traitor? Miguel. My brother. He dreamed of building a world free of suffering. He gave his life for that dream. And all you've managed to build is a lake of death. You. You killed my brother. And now you'll die for it! Concerned myself with the passing of one pathetic flame. Have you no shame? Careful! Their arms were interrupted. What's wrong? Here it comes! Not today! Turn away! I never miss! You're trying to swarm! Vanished again? Listen carefully and keep your eyes peeled. Now you see what I can Dragon do! Stop. Dragon Swarm! I'm on it! Here's the wrong! You're mine! Dragon Swarm! Thanks, Shion. Sword right out! Help us! I'm on! on. I really owe you one. I'm just Her. getting started! Move it! Tiger Get. Blade!
These slaves are despicable. Your dreams of attaining lordship are no more. Give up, Kelzalik. Attaining lordship? <laughs> Ridiculous. Only those who possess a master core can become a lord. <laughs> what did you think just anyone could do it? But then, what were you trying to accomplish with this? Didn't you betray your lord? Yes, that's true. However, there are other lords. Other lords? So you mean... At last, the truth is revealed. Doholim, 
Where have you been this whole time? Yeah. Cleaning up. Kelzalek, you've made your last of these. The fruit of Helgen? They can't be. You found my production facility? Correct. And I tore it down. But something still troubles me. It's clear that this is no ordinary fruit. Nor was the equipment used to grow it. You couldn't have done all this without outside assistance. Indeed. Something like this must have come from another realm. Sar, perhaps? You actually expect me to talk now? At this point, the contest for the crown will be over soon enough. And you will finally receive the punishment you deserve for your weakness. I've already received my punishment. <laughs> May this be my final act as the Lord of Elder Men and Sia. <laughs> Go. To Mahak Sar, Ganeth Horrors, wherever you think you'll find a suitable lord. Are you all right with this? He killed your brother after all. He did. But then I thought, he's nothing more than one common, ordinary Renan. He's not worthy of my time or my anger, right? <sighs> so after everything, was the dream of coexisting just a dream? What is that? Those are the cheers of the brave Danans who overpowered Kelzalik's forces. Wait, they challenged the Renans? Indeed. A militia made up of Danan guardsmen, Renan supporters, and of course, the Gold Dust Cats. Do we have you to thank for bringing them all together? Regardless of what your original motivations were, your dream of coexistence saved countless lives. And now, those people out there are fighting to keep that dream alive. That's something real. Be that as it may, they do so now by their own hands. These people no longer need any lord. Where are you going? To put an end to the crown contest. So long as its madness persists, peace will remain ever out of reach. I cannot allow it to continue. The Crown Contest impacts far more than just the Danans. You're choosing to fight Lenigus and the entire Empire. I am well aware. However, if I wish to keep this dream from dying, then I have little choice in the matter. Besides, it's the least I can do. So, you're gonna go out there and make that dream real on your own? You may be decided on your path, but that doesn't make it any less difficult. Why not walk that road with us? Pardon? You heard me. We're fighting to liberate the Danans. You're fighting for the people of this realm. I'd say we're on the same path, really. It would only make sense for us to walk it together. Danon dissidents, side by side with a Renan lord? Not the least intriguing invitation I've received. An invitation which would only be proper courtesy for me to accept. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, where'd Kisara go? I don't see her anywhere. Maybe she just needed some time alone. A lot's happened. That makes sense. She did just lose her brother, after all. <sighs> we ought to keep moving as well. So long as there are lords who draw breath, we have a mission to complete. Kisara's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. We should hurry on ahead to our next destination. I guess you're right. 
And it is a lot safer here than it was. What do you think, Dohalim? I am not sure I have the right to say anything as far as Kisara is concerned. Fair enough. Well, I, for one, would like to say goodbye if we get a chance. Let's keep an eye out for her as we leave. Alright guys, we're gonna end the episode there. A lot has happened and that means episode 9 we get to try out our new party member and that means we got all six of them. So I appreciate you guys putting up with me on my couch stream on my bad day. We'll be back to normal next time. So thank you for joining us for Moni Monday and have a great night everybody. And don't forget that I appreciate all of you. Peace.